day y'all happy friday the 13th um, i thought it would be appropriate to do this song that is titled superstition um, i was going to do the uh, stevie ray vaughn uh, version that was requested but i started to look into the song um, and i just i wanted to see like you know um, why it was written uh, you know the lyrics things like that and so uh, stevie wonder he wrote this song um, for jeff beck uh, and my understanding is Jeff Beck, uh, he uh, passed away, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, so uh, man, rest in peace. I, I did not uh, know who Jeff Beck was. Um, I feel a bit ashamed because uh, Rolling Stone said that he is in the top five uh, best guitar players of all time. Uh, and Jeff Beck, he passed away at the age of uh, 78, so he played guitar for a long time, and I think he was active in the... Uh, early to early mid 60s somewhere around there i think he was in a band called the yardbirds so uh, that's uh that's many many years in the game you know that's amazing and uh, we know that stevie wonder uh is awesome and i was looking him up too um i wasn't sure how old he was and he's 72 and it says he's still active like he's still uh playing and performing so uh, that's awesome you know um i'm pretty sure i've heard this song before um it sounds familiar um <laughs> but we'll see um i don't know man i'm just ready to go ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen joining us on stage mr jeff beck This is unbelievable um, uh, for a blind man to be able to play like that. Did y'all see his fingers, like the accuracy and like the speed and precision? That's just, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I've definitely heard this song like in movies or, or somewhere for sure. That's like, uh, it's like a great song. You know, it's so recognizable. Just that, yeah, this is, uh, this is fun, man. This is a good song. He smiled. He knows he killed it. That's like that. Um, I don't even know what word to use for that guitar style. It's just like that raw, gritty, uh, like live rock and roll guitar. You know, that that was badass. Um, he looks like he's an elder gentleman in this video. You know, potentially in his 60s year. Oh, we'll see, 25th anniversary. Yeah, I don't know what year this was, but this is fun, man. That uh, 
when he hit that whammy bar, I think it was not only the way that he opened it up, there was like that like squeal kind of, but another part during that solo when he hit it, it was like a bullet, like I, I picture like a bullet traveling and it has like these like sound waves around it or something. I don't know. That was awesome, man. All right, let's go. <laughs> fun to be uh to be there and see that live that's a privilege to uh to have that memory that's awesome man uh, yeah it sounded great i didn't really know what to expect uh from jeff beck and i was looking he's been in, in multiple bands and like different projects and there's a chance that i probably have heard him somewhere because he's done so much music and he's been around for so long um i do want to look more into that that was uh i don't know just like a fun guitar i don't know like the like live raw gritty you know what i mean like it's oh it had its own distinct sound like i don't feel like i've heard that style like especially with the whammy bar when he did that that was badass but uh yeah that was a great song um what else there was something else um so stevie he said that he came up with this song uh when he was playing the drums like i guess like the feeling of it and it just came to him you know <clears throat> and then he wrote this for jeff beck and then I believe that uh, Stevie then did songs with Jeff Beck. So it was like uh, <clears throat> like on his album, you know what I mean? So it was like a trade, you know, I'm assuming that they obviously respect and like each other, you know, and they just wanted to like do something cool. So <clears throat> yeah, that was awesome. Um, I do want to check out some more uh, Jeff Beck and Stevie Wonder too, because to be honest, like I'm sure he's got hits that I've heard that have been on the radio, but I've never like listened to one of his albums, you know what I mean? There's probably dozens and dozens of songs i've never even heard before so excuse me but uh yeah great song man i'll see you guys on the next one <laughs> 